the victims of a gruesome massacre, laid to rest in a mass burial. Reports say the farm workers were attacked by armed insurgents on motorbikes while they were harvesting rice. Some were shot, others had their throats cut. There were six of us in the bush, then we headed back into the village. We were shocked when we got there. We found their bodies and that was where the main killings took place. Then we went through a nearby village called Gudo. We met so many people fleeing from our village without knowing where they were going. A huge amount of harvested rice was set on fire. It's the most violent attack on civilians in Borno State this year. The region in northeastern Nigeria has been gripped by a jihadist insurgency for a decade. Both the Islamist group Boko Haram and a rival group, the IS-affiliated so-called Islamic State West Africa province, operate here. The two groups have been blamed for attacks on farmers and fishermen, whom they accuse of spying for the army and pro-government militia. But so far, there has been no claim of responsibility. Boko Haram killed many of our people. We need assistance, we need weapons, because we have young men who can guard our farmers while they work. Please, please, for God's sake. The Nigerian military has been unable to quell the insurgency, in which tens of thousands have been killed or abducted. There are reports that several women may also have been kidnapped in the latest incident, and a number of men remain missing, raising fears that the death toll from this brutal attack could still rise. ...of the country. Now, this particular attack happened just outside of Maiduguri, 15 kilometers outside of Maiduguri, which is also sadly called the birth city of Boko Haram, because this is from where the entire uprising started over 10 years ago. Now, what we can tell at this point is the attack happened on Saturday, the burial happened yesterday, and after that horrendous attack, a lot of farmers actually in the region have left their farms. They are concerned and... Thank you.